I have to move to Tennessee. I was like, Nikki, who? Ice Spice, who? <laughs> I found a way out of no way, okay? Just y'all responsible, just owning homes, cutting your grass, trimming the hedges. Y'all are just responsible. She don't give truck. She cares. It's your girl, Chamima, and we are back at it again with another vlog. I'm currently on my way to try out a new barber. Um, I have no idea what to expect, but it seems to be some good reviews about the barber and the overall vibe of the place. So we're going to see. Um, I already know the cut is not going to be immaculate just because I'm going to tell him not to touch the front because I want to grow this back out so that the next time I dye my hair, it'll be a fresh start. And then we'll really see what he's working with. But I'm going to have him fade out the size, midline fade, skin at the bottom. And we'll, we'll see what he can do with that. We'll see. But, um... I'm so over it, y'all. I'm just so over it. And I thought I found a new nail home, but every single time I get my nails done, they always lift. And I'm just, I'm so tired. Like, why is it so difficult to find good service people? And I don't know if it's if it's the technique or the product, because I don't know why my nails keep lifting. Everywhere I go, a nail keeps popping off and lifting, and that's usually not an issue like what's going on <laughs> what's going on people so i'm going to go to an old spot today i already know uh, my nails are gonna lift at this place but um they're the best ones to do it a whole new starter set so i'm gonna take these off cut my nails down and do a fresh start um and i was thinking about maybe i should try the gel x what's the other one i'm like jimmy if your nails are popping off with this thick af acrylic <laughs> like but at this point i'm just like do i need to go back to a regular gel mani like what do i need to do because when i moved here in my mind i was like this is atlanta like i'm gonna find everything that i need here i'm gonna find the best of the best here all the people that do celebrities, they're gonna be here. I'm gonna find top of the line quality. Yay. <laughs> it's not giving. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but you know, it's just the work of being a bad, a bad bee, you know? <laughs> you said, ain't no way around it. Ain't no way around it, baby. Ain't no way. Hello, darling. May I cut through here, please? Thank you. Thank you, love. Thank you. I'm unavailable. Okay, so, anyways, y'all, fingers crossed. Wish me luck that um, I find a new person, bro. Like, for real. Hurry up in time, please. Like, is this your father's road? Taking a sweet little time. Over here, eating breakfast on a go. I'm having oatmeal. I know it's just very ghetto. Please don't mind me. I'm very ghetto on you. All right, y'all. I've been here. Nice shot. Mmm.
Ugh. Wish me luck, y'all. Okay, so. Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> oh my God, what is that? <laughs> Anyways, I don't get my nails done. Cause this is too much for me. Actually, I did bring snacks with me. Um, sometimes I did. That oatmeal did nothing. Like one thing about oatmeal, I'm gonna lie. So I got these like little crustables. I'm so glad I brought these because I'm really hungry. So I think I've been here before, and this is like a new parking situation. Ciao. First of all, they said no SUVs, but I feel like my girl's not a real SUV. Like, she don't give, like, truck, you know? <laughs> she don't give truck. She gives. Boop. Boop. Do, 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 do. You know? So I was like, let me just, you know. Girl, but I'll tell you, but. Uh, I was like, is my roof going to scrape under here? Child. Whatever, I'm grateful though it's free. So whatever. I'm not even really in the mood for this for real. I want a real meal. Am I a child? <laughs> like, please. <laughs> what in the pack of lunch is going on? Like that is an air. Sandwich making my mouth dry. Mm. Ooh, had to re-up on a few hours. Oh my nose is itching. Yeah, I don't think I'll be back. Um, one, he was very um, aggressive. The cutting, the wipe, every <sighs> man. And he uses pure alcohol. I was not prepared. Ooh, he aggressive with clippers. Are you using alcohol? This face does not look like the pictures. I don't know. I promise you, I don't know what it is. Like, barbers would be amazing, but when it comes to me, and it's always when it comes to me, and it's like, I'm not tripping. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just got moved to Tennessee. That's really the only answer. After moving to Tennessee, it's the only way I'll be happy. It's time for me to plan my next trip out of Atlanta. Cause I just, and then something there kept, but then he kept he was coughing. I need me wearing a mask. It was nice, whatever, we were chatting it up, whatever, but all the <coughs> wear a mask. Now I feel like, look, 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 look. This is too much for me. This feels like how my nose feels at a thrift store, like the dust or whatever it is. Makes my nose itch like crazy. That was like, hair everywhere. One thing about a lot of these barbers, they do not good a good job of cleaning at all. At all. Um, oh. Okay, Mr. Sir. All right now. Um, I'm back. 
and the nails are done i think i showed you guys the inspo pic while i was in the salon um like i said i've been there i think twice before and that was the first time that they double teamed me and it seems to be something that they're doing now um because everyone was pretty much double teamed for the most part so i couldn't get you know the little cute aesthetic getting my nails done content that i usually love to do <laughs> Um, but on the plus side, I was not sitting there for as long as it normally would take me. Um, I also made a stop at my P.O. box to pick up a couple of things. And there was a little taco spot that was calling my name. So I grabbed me some tacos. I got one veggie, one fish, it's tilapia, grilled, and one birria chicken, chicken birria. I said... Since when y'all was y'all since since when since when was y'all doing this? Okay. Now I probably should have asked because I feel like I probably should have asked. I didn't think about that because birria is made from the meat of the the beef, right? So y'all trying to tell me y'all make a different a whole different stock for the chicken, or did y'all just drizzle the beef birria on top of chicken? Either way, I'm gonna eat it, so, you know, but I'm just, dang, it didn't even occur to me to ask. Um, and I, oh, cause I had switched last minute, I had gotten regular chicken before. And I don't, I feel like birria doesn't really come with much toppings. True authentic tacos don't be coming with all that razzle dazzle. I feel like that's all like the Americanized taco, but that's what I grew up on and that's why I love, I'm my father's child, okay? I love uh, all the, the works, the everything, put every extra onion, extra, extra jalapeno, extra lettuce, tomatoes, like, and those are not authentic tacos, but I feel like a taco's not a taco unless it's a whole salad on top. Like, I, and so I'll be hurt when they, y'all like a little too authentic for me. I remember the first time I ordered tacos and they gave me just meat and tortilla. I was like, baby, be for real. Like, y'all ran out of ingredients in the back? <sighs> and that's why it's good to know more besides the bubble that you live in. Baby, this grass, this lawn is so well manicured. Love that for y'all, truly. Just, y'all responsible. Just owning homes, cutting your grass, trimming the hedges. Y'all are just responsible. Child, anyways, y'all just out here adulting uh, and well. Y'all got an ebook, a course, a map I can follow. Dora the Explorer, me, please. Come on, Vamanos. Everybody, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Could I go inside to eat my tacos? Absolutely. Am I going to? Absolutely not. <laughs> I just want to taste it. I just want to taste it because I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch something for an hour or two before I'm productive for the day, okay? Today was a lot. There's a lot of outside. A lot of people coughing around me. I just need to have a moment. So this is the tacos. Chicken birria, you can already tell. Um, the middle one, I wanna say it's veggie. This one's veggie, I think I'm seeing like the, um... oh please. I think I'm seeing like peppers and onions and stuff right there. And this is the fish, pretty simple with cabbage. So yeah, these are the tacos. Okay, so I ordered an extra thingy of pica de gallo. Pica de gallo. <laughs> Cause they give you, I got the combo. They give you like chips and a drink. Maybe I crushed some chips a long time ago. Okay, sorry. Sorry to this man, I don't got nothing to show y'all. But I got some extra pica de gallo to go with the tacos. And I'm definitely gonna need it for the birria. Let me taste it. Let me taste it. That's what you're giving. Cute, cute. Oh, 
Yeah, I like that better than the other chicken one that they had, for sure. Yeah. And we've got our veggie. Mmm. Onions do what they need to do. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. Let's see the tilapia. Okay, okay, okay. We got a little uh, lime, um, some radish. I wish it was pickled. Yeah, I just want to talk about like radishes when they're pickled, please. Why'd I do that? But um, they also had battered tilapia, but y'all know me, I love grilled fish. Mm. There's another, I'm gonna eat the tilapia first. There's another um, taco place I went to. And I like that they had like a taco bar, like a toppings kind of bar thingy. And they had so many different pickled vegetables. Mm. Pickled carrots, jalapeno, pickled radishes. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, but it's pretty much tilapia and cabbage and some kind of aioli or something. She's cute, not that special. I like to squeeze, the squeeze in the middle. This little tiny, how? I can barely grasp this enough to squeeze a lemon on it. Like, come on now. Mmm, mmm. Lemon and lime, always gonna do something. Always. Yeah, you needed that. Picare. Oh, I hate people see me. Picare gallo. <laughs> see, that's what I was scared of. It's gonna be nothing but sauce. I want tomate. Tomate. It's the unwashed hands for me. Lord, be a fence for real. Be a fence between. Oh, the, the lemon, lime skin is all over my fingers. It's a little too zesty for me. Oh, she thick. Oh, she thick. Oh, she thick. She thick. Delicioso. <laughs> we tore this up. We did. Oh, that would have been disastrous. <laughs> Got you right there, buddy. Okay. That's my kitty going inside. Yeah, like a person of decent upbringing. Also, I feel like. The ice in this shouldn't be completely melted. So, Timu, bring me my coin back. It's still cold though, but the ice completely melted and it was never in the hot sun. Well, it was in the hot sun for a little bit. It's not even hot today. I was in a garage. Then I went to the, the pick up my packages and grab the tacos real quick. It should still be ice cubes in there. It was a whole bunch. It was like halfway filled with ice cubes. So she's cute, but get your roast at me. But she's not gonna last all day. Pick out a guy. Oh, the receipt for my nails. The petty was 55 plus 15 to get gel. That's this is my second time getting gel in a very long time. And the nails are 95. And I tipped 35 ish bucks. Total charge 200. Yeah, 200. Pick out a guy. 
um I thought the lady she was going too short on my nails and she was like no I didn't but then <laughs> she kept the length on this one just say my bad and keep it moving like just say my bad like you ain't gotta try to talk to me like I'm dying like you ain't gotta do that and it was like some of it's leaning it's like getting a little to the left to the left yeah, this whole hand is to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Oh. Hello, darlings. It has been a few days since I saw you guys last. Ugh. Your girl has been going through it. And I thought, I thought I was at the finish line with the cramps, but I'm not. <laughs> so your girl is going through it still. But I had to come kiki with y'all real quick because it's it's been it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. Um oh, I am starving and I have zero energy to go to the grocery store or cook or anything like that. Like I just I don't have it. I don't have it in me. So I'm so grateful that I have one last factor meal left. Baby. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this portion of the video because when I tell y'all they're clutch, they are clutch. I'm not trying to cook right now and I'm not cooking at takeout, but that will take forever. When I have this meal right here, I can just pop it in the microwave and I'm gonna have a delicious meal in two minutes. So this is the meal here. This is the pozole style chickpea and kale stew. <laughs> And I actually really like chickpeas, so super excited to dig into this. Oh my God, this looks so good. Baby, mm. Okay, so I'm about to warm that up. Put in bowls. Um, I think I have some new neighbors that moved in upstairs because baby, the A-Town stompation that's going on right now is too much for me, okay? But anyways, so I've been doing the vegan meals as of late um, just because they're delicious and I know they're not gonna have dairy or anything like that. And if I wanna add meat or protein to it, I can also do that. I can order like grilled chicken on the side or whatever the case may be. So you can basically customize it to whatever that you want, to whatever lifestyle or diet that you are following, um, which I love. And they always have a plethora, I love that word, a plethora of meal options that you can pick from every week so you don't get bored or tired or end up having to eat the same things, which is another advantage. So you should definitely check it out for yourself. You guys know that I've been rocking with Factor for quite some time and will continue to do so. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you head over to factor75.com. Use code MISSIONMIMA50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Okay, once again, factor75.com. Use code MISSIONMIMA50 or click the link down below to get 50% off your first Factor box. Don't say to put you on, okay? So I'm about to heat this up, plate it, and then I'm gonna finish watching Just Right because Common is fine. And Queen Latifah is gorgeous. Like, I never get over her beauty, just stunning. But yeah, and I need to find my heating pad. Cause the girl's going through it right now. I am, I am. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my God, this smells delicious. Ooh, steaming hot. Mmm. Ooh, and y'all know I love me some pepper. Oh, this, Mmm. Oh. Did I mention that these meals are always fresh? They don't freeze them, but if for some reason you're not gonna go through your order for the week, you can always freeze the rest of them to save them for later so they're not wasted. This looks so, oh my God. With some hot sauce, baby. Put this right on top. Oh my God. Let's head on over to the TV so we can dig in. Oh my God, so good. 
so this is the part where Morgan just broke up with him. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Sorry if you haven't seen it, but he's fresh off the breakup and his feelings. And I hate her in this movie. Like, ugh. Why she do my mans like that? No disrespect, but I really think it's time to get a new whip. It just needs a little work. That's all. <laughs> See that? Okay. Come on. You might say my hoopty. Good morning, Dar. Ooh. Good morning, my bad. Not y'all trying to go outside my window. Not y'all trying to see where I live. <sighs> okay. I feel like. I knew I wasn't tripping. Like, y'all was real close to my face. My bad, y'all. I have swapping. I've been watching so many shows, it's actually sick. But, um. I'm waiting on my brother to help me flip my mattress because <laughs> my big back broke it. <laughs> I mean, I didn't like break it, break it, but I always sit right here. And so I think like the little springs inside have <laughs> permanently encapsulated onto themselves into a little pancake sandwich. So I want to rotate the mattress so that this is on the other side and at the bottom. Cause I don't use that side anyways. <laughs> and I don't feel like paying for a new mattress, okay? I feel like I can get another year out of this. So that's the goal. That way when I move, I can just toss this, and get a new one with a new place. Period on period, Ugh. I've had this mattress for a long time. You guys remember when I got this in a sponsorship? <laughs> and she's still holding up, like, ah, wow. Well, wow. Well. But yeah, so. I folded some laundry. I mean, you guys know, laundry is forever my life. Like, I. Uh, I don't even want to talk about it. Um, but I folded some laundry, but I have like 15 loads to actually do. But mentally, I'm not, I'm not there. I'm not there. Because my thing is, putting them in a the washer, that's cute and all. It's when they're done, taking them out and then folding them and putting them away. I already know mentally I'm not there. <laughs> today, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not, it's just not gonna happen today. So like why start something I'm not gonna finish? Why? Um, so I'm not. <laughs> um, yeah, so yesterday I just laid out on the couch Pulled out my heating pad, made me some raspberry leaf tea. Um, tried to thug it out a little bit, it wasn't working. I had to pop some ibuprofen. But our morning is off to a good start. Um, hopefully that's the end of those cramps. <laughs> but um, wow, yeah. I need to do an apartment refresh because I don't understand. Actually, I do understand. I've been a lazy bum and I've, I've been enjoying the laziness of it all. <laughs> Honestly, every time I think about editing a vlog, I'm just like, mm, maybe tomorrow. And then it just be like a whole lot of tomorrows. And then it's y'all talking about where the vlogs. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, it felt good not to edit for eight hours. <laughs> like I kept saying tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Maybe I looked up <laughs> two weeks later. <laughs> Meanwhile, come on. Episode 18 of, of SWAT, season three of The Office. <laughs> I've watched so many shows. I was watching Citadel um, with um, Priyanka, that gorgeous girl that's married to that Jonas brother. Um, I was watching, man, I don't want to talk about it, but I'm not gonna lie, your girl been catching up on the, on the keys, okay? Um, but yeah, so. I ordered some new comforters from Amazon. I have one and I've really like really been enjoying them. Well, it <laughs> like really spending time in bed. 
goes to show you like how much you love your stuff. And I was like, let me get my Brooklyn in a break because I need that baby to last me until I die. So I was like, let me get some cheap stuff so I can use as fillers in between. <laughs> and I really like this comforter. So I bought one in white and I bought another one in like a warm beige or something. We'll see how it looks when it comes, but yeah that should be coming soon and like as much as i love i mean love my brooklyn sheets i don't always feel like messing with a duvet cover and that's just to see on that like there are times when i'm in the mood to do the most to be extra and there are times where i'm i'm barely doing the minimum like absolute bare minimum and i'm a big believer of balance <laughs> i am i tell you this all the time like i'm the queen or maybe not the queen. <laughs> I'm the princess of an extra AF shower routine. But also, I'm the princess that sometimes I, baby, I, listen. <laughs> I'm trying to be in and out in two and a half minutes, okay? Ain't ever gonna be no two and a half minutes. Let me be for real. Maybe 12 and a half minutes. That's very short for me. <laughs> But that's the truth. Like sometimes I want to do extra. I love the pop and circumstance. And sometimes I'm just like, I just want simple, like <sighs> next to nothing. And I like to have options for all of those stages. So you see, this is exactly why this part right here, the bed is the one that's indented. This is where I sit, this is where I put lotion. This is, this is like my, and it's like, Jimmy, you know this. Why don't you try sitting somewhere else, moving somewhere else? And the thing is, this mattress is so heavy. Like, when I tell y'all, I can't even shift it on the bed. Like, it's been moving little by little. Oh my God, it's damn near off the thing now. Um, I don't understand how a mattress can be this heavy. And that's the one thing they'll tell you about quality. Like, baby, when you upgrade something, sometimes the maintenance or the cost of that upgrade huh like you have to factor that into it it's not a one-time cost because like if my brother wasn't available i would have to pay somebody to come and flip my mattress can you imagine me on task rabbit paying somebody with their oh minimum two hours just to flip my mattress it's a very ghetto life that i'm living right now truly all that gym and i can't flip this mattress well, if we keep it in the bug, it ain't been a lot of gym lately. <laughs> Yo, I had Popeyes the other day. And it's so funny because someone literally commented under my post, too much Popeyes. And you should be like, girl, please. But baby, the way I tore up that Popeyes, boy, I tell you, boy. <laughs> and I feel like Popeyes spicy chicken don't be spicy. And I feel like back in the day, it used to have like maybe a kick or something. It don't be spicy. But I got a large um, mashed potato. Mashed potato. And I got a large mac and cheese. That mac and cheese is so damn cheesy. I was like, I don't remember it being this damn cheesy. It was to the point where I was like, I don't think I want to finish it. And it was good, but I... I wouldn't, I can't believe I'm saying this because I'm usually not the one to say that something's too cheesy. Because I think it's good. Like out of all like the restaurant, like my cheeses and stuff that I've tried, I was like, Popeyes is up there for me, I think. But it, it's also too much for me. So if it's too much, is it really up there? I feel like it would be up there. I feel like, do y'all like Popeyes mac and cheese? I mean, they had like the, the top, like, it was, I mean, it was, they got some mac and cheese. Popeyes don't make green beans no more. I noticed that they have green beans. And that's what I really wanted. I wanted green beans and I wanted mashed potatoes. I'm not the biggest fan of their their um their rice. Is it dirty rice or is it like beans and rice? I don't remember. But the mashed potato, but they am sure. And I really wanted the green beans, but they didn't have it. And I don't know if they just didn't have it at that store or if they were just out that day or what the case is, or if they just don't make it at all. Because I'm like, I'm gonna see it on the app. I'm rambling. This is why I can't just sit down and talk to y'all unsupervised, unoutlined, 
un, 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 unrehearsed, unthought of, unplanned. <laughs> because what am I even talking about right now? And why? Angle trash. Still sitting on a part of the bed that I should be sitting on, but have I moved? No. Um, yeah, that's live today. That's how my morning's going. Um, also, I have Panera for breakfast, and it was delish. Yeah, yeah, it was delicious. I had the, um, it was like chicken, pulled chicken, egg, I think they call it their chipotle aioli or something like that. It had like peppers in it, like sweet red peppers, but like not the regular pepper, but like there's like a different sweet red pepper. I don't know. I don't know, but it was good on brioche. No, not brioche on ciabatta baby <laughs> i said panera do something with that breakfast menu i'm not mad baby i popped that latte pill and i ate that full sandwich i've been trying to give no cheese though y'all i need to get back on it i do i do i'm gonna start next week i'm gonna finish out this week with a bang i <laughs> I'm gonna start fresh next week because I really do need to. Like, as much as I enjoyed that Popeyes, baby, I felt it like in my chest. Like the food, like the food wasn't digesting, <sighs> and it was just as delicious as it was. It was just very uncomfortable afterwards. Um, and I ordered enough to make it two meals. I ordered a four piece. <laughs> I ordered a four piece, a large mac and cheese. A large mashed potato, period. and <laughs> I went out on two dates. Yes, the other third last night, but I wasn't at this point, so I guess not now. Hold on, are you saying Zach's killing people because I wouldn't go out with him again? No, How many days does it happen? We had some fun times. I think the reason I wanted to see you is because I'm kind of obsessed with you. Yeah, I know. 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 Yeah
Ik moet nog even staan. Ik moet niet denken, ik heb geen man meer. Uh, uh, ik heb ook een really good fragrance van Dallas, which I didn't even show y'all. Oh my god. And did I tell you I didn't make support squad? I didn't make it, uh, I wasn't a finalist. I feel like there's so much I need to update y'all on, and it's, I'm spending all my time talking about SWAT, and I didn't update y'all on nothing important, and now I can't remember what is important. We need to hurry up and get hot, because I need to go. Uh, but yeah, I ended up not making Sephora Squad. Bummer. Bummer. Um, but there were a lot of really good, really amazing, gorgeous, qualified content creators that apply this year, so I'm not in a shock. Um, it is what it is. Um, so I was bummed out about that. Loki has been a couple L's behind the scenes that I took, you know. I'm like, don't let it get you down. You know, you can feel the feels in the moment, but don't let it get you down because at the end of the day, you are blessed. You are still doing the damn thing. You know, I've, I've reached places that I didn't see for myself. You know, not to say I couldn't see it for myself, but I'm a prepare for the worst, hope for the best kind of girl. So if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. One thing about it though, I'm gonna work my behind off and work what I got. So I'm very grateful to be where I am. And so whenever, whenever I, you know, something don't go my way, I'm just like, Jimmy, let's shh. Shh. It's all right, Monica. It's just a game, Monica. It's just a game, Monica. You have a lot going for yourself, so relax. When it's gonna be your time, it's gonna be your time. And right now, it's swap time. <laughs> Y'all, I was like, the show was okay before, but now I'm really getting into it. And I'm like, can I stop talking about it? For once, please. I hate, oh my God, all right, really random. Two things I don't like. One. This shower takes longer to get hot on. Anyways, one, I don't like when they use the most, like, random, person doing the most random thing as a representative of Americans, right? And two, I hate the portrayal of influencers across the board. Like, it is always a teeny bopper or like a, a blonde white girl running around, not caring about the livelihood of anybody around her as long as she gets photos, or she has an attitude, or it's just like, ugh. I detest the portrayal of influencers in the media. And it's just, it's so annoying having to watch it, knowing that people are just taking that image and further generalizing the influencer world as a whole. Not to say there aren't people like that, of course they are, I mean, there's people like that in general. Them being an influencer is not really something like that. They're like that because they're like that. But there's also normal people that are in the industry. And it's just like, y'all never wanna show that. Y'all never wanna show a normal person being regular, and I hate it so much. Like, ugh. Anyways, let me go. It's, it's, it's looking like a cold shower for me today because the water's not watering. And uh, I'm so hairy, my goodness. Hello, darlings. Hold on. Uh, Ciao. Um, it has been a whirlwind of an evening. I was planning on getting cute with y'all, kiki, and chopping it up. And baby, that nap ruins everything. Okay. Um, but I went to dinner. Um, went to Fogo. And your yeah, girl, I, I had some lamb. I did. I did. I had some lamb, and it was worth it. 
it was so well seasoned like oh my gosh uh the brazilians know what they're doing baby i need to go to brazil because <laughs> they know what they're doing over there the meat was so good i had a piece of lamb it had a lamb chop and that was that i didn't have any steak or nothing like that so it, it was given moderation it was given proportion it was giving um control discipline okay um all of which i love for myself because baby the last time i was at Folo. <laughs> okay um but yeah so i'm not gonna hold y'all this this gonna be the end of all um i'm getting ready to um have a small turn up <laughs> So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, touch up a little bit because my nose is getting oily. Um, yeah, it's definitely a touch up time. Reapply this lipstick because she was cute. She was a moment. My lip is dry though. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more coat of lipstick and then when that fades, I'm just gonna go to gloss. But, um, Besides that, the face is holding up okay. It's a little, a little oil peeking through. <laughs> Man, I was like, I'm gonna do a cute get ready with me. I'm gonna film a TikTok. I'm gonna film an outfit. I did manage to like throw together some kind of something for my outfit. Um, I'll insert the clip in this video. I hope so you can see what I'm wearing since I can get it to give you guys the dates. Well, I guess I can give you the dates now. I'm finally wearing my, um, this Kalana. This, this this was a Future Collective collab at Target. Some kind of something at Target. Finally wearing it. I'm wearing my little bandeau tank crop situation. I showed you guys my last Target haul. And I'm wearing these green slacks from Torrid. And I was wearing my, um, Heels from uh, Circus, Sam Edelman, and I paired it with this bag that I got from Awura. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. And I'm wearing my fedora from the Emma to the Zon. Um, but yeah, all in all, it's it's a cute little vibe. And yeah, I'm wearing my Elf lipstick. I take it off to get out. I need my lip liner. Like where? I'm just digging in this bag just to dig in it like with no purpose no nothing because what am i even looking for right now Too faced lip injection lip liner we're just gonna do the whole thing the whole lip all over again because she was a moment okay she was cute i'm gonna see how it looks with Jeff's lipstick on I mean, my lip is a little dry, so I might have to put a little gloss. But then if I do that, the lipstick's not going to last as long. It's just, we'll see. <laughs> the content that y'all did not ask for. Okay. But I really like how the lipstick makes this outfit pop. is getting a little dry. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Wow. I think we're gonna transition to gloss. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I do believe it's a no for me. Oh, yeah. I need the moisture. But my thing is, when you wear lip gloss and you smoke a hookah, it's a whole thing, but whatever. Hopefully this lip gloss acts right, but this lip gloss smell kind of funny, like I had it too long, but I don't feel like I had it that long. Mm. Like this, I don't want no bum bum on my lip. All right, we're going plain Jane with the classic 
gloss or lip oil. Uh-uh. It smells a little weird. I don't have no time for no reaction on my lips, okay? Now, Miss Fitty trying to set me up. I don't like that. Okay, oh. All right, let's try it up. Oh, this is the intro and establishment. This is a mess. And I brought my Donna Born and Roma perfume with me so I can touch up. It's not the same exact one. I'm wearing the intense one right now, but it'll do. Okay. Make sure I'm not smelling like sirloin <laughs> and filet mignon. Some of this uh, oil, like just for nobody to smell me, girl. Ooh, lucky! I feel like I'm about to start cramping again. Oh. Let me see. I still have Advil in here because that's a, a sharp out way to ruin my evening. I'll go home so fast because if these cramps escalate, I, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go go back to my bed. I try to always have fireproof in the car. I think the last time I used it, I took it in the house. Oh. I have lactate pills. That's not helpful right now. I have so many random things in here. You know. This was a good idea when I first got it. And now I feel like I just use it to house. I have so many beverages in here, what? Oh my God. I have everything but what I need. Sheesh. Okay, yeah. I don't know how long this, this night is gonna be, but child, we here. We here. All right, y'all, well. I didn't really do much today, but I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog anyways. Cause I'm about to go inside and have a key and I'm not gonna take y'all with me, okay? The bars write themselves, like Nikki, who? Remy, who? Ice Spice, who? <laughs> All right, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>